Hello, my YouTube friends. Dave Wilson. It's been a while since I posted a video, but uh, just had all kinds of things going on. And I've got uh, all my printers modified to the new Omnidrop uh, version 2.1 high uh, ends. Uh, that took a while. I had to reprint the mounts. Uh, well, first redesign them, but uh, I'm really glad I did because they're so much uh, thinner. So I can move the easy ables uh, to a better location. And uh, so I've got all of them modified. And I have cameras on all of them now and uh, accelerometers. So they're already, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go through and fine tune them. Um, but I just want to get them all running. The last one is the rat rig, which I moved the um, easy able from the uh, behind it to the front. And one of the challenges with working with the Omnia drop on this is the mount, uh, there wasn't anything that existed, so I had to just start from scratch pretty much. And then I had to figure out the print area. Even though the bed is actually about 420, 430 by 430, my print area is about 385 by 350 because of the way the uh, Omnia drop uh, it hits these uh, extrusions. And that's the limit then of what I can print. So then I had to find the center, then I had to find all the uh, spots for probing and the tilt adjustment, etc. But I'm about ready to try it out now. I just want to label the print area with some blue tape so I can get a better idea of what's going on. Now I've got most of my cabinets all put in. I moved the things around and I made a lot of progress there. It's getting there. Uh, I'm going to get some cooperation from my wife to get her stuff organized, but uh, it's coming along. And I've been real happy with that. Uh, we talked about the Omni Drops. Here's the original version, and you can see the thickness of it. And here's the new version. This is uh, 1.2, and it's quite a bit thinner. And the other big difference is uh, the original version uses. Uh, printed um, planetary gears and a, a planetary gear assembly ring. Uh, the bearings and everything were all metal. But the new one it uses a metal disc and the, the gears are injection molded. So they're, I'm not saying they're any better exactly, but uh, they're a lot more um, precise, you might say. It still works about the same, but um, I know it's a lot faster for uh, Max at Omnidrop to produce them now. And that's a big plus. But um, had really good luck with the new ones. And so now I've got is a lot of parts for the old one, which I'll keep. And I can always revert back to them. But um, so I bought upgrade kits, which I thought were really reasonably priced. It came with um, the assembly, the gears, uh, new um, uh, feed gear, um, and um, a new fan shroud and a, a thermos, I'm sorry, not thermistor, uh, heat break. So and I think that was 45 euros, which I thought was pretty reasonable to upgrade everything. And I'm real happy with the reduced thickness on them. So that's what I've been working on. And I did move this, my control center over because I just was having trouble getting to this printer over here. And now I've got my um, filament dryer right there and everything's working pretty well. So. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. I'm really excited to get the rat ring on again, and I'll try to put some prints out. Thank you. Oh, here's something else. This, I'm sorry. I've been working on Halloween uh, give-outs. Uh, so these are just something I found unmodified, but it's just a disc with putting a quarter in. I tried to put some uh, dollars in, um, and I got it to work. The difficulty I found, I can't find any dollars. I went to the bank, and I only had four or five of them. So... I had to go with quarters, but I'm going to print about 30 of those and I'm ready for the kids. So thanks for watching.